Hey, my name is Rechart and you're watching App Explorer's Huawei Edition, the show where we look at apps and games for your Huawei device. In this week's episode, we look at Petal Maps and Lords Mobile, and I asked my good friend and Twitch streamer Sam Plays to check out a nifty way that you can stream all your content at home. If you'd like to discover more apps or games, please do check out AppExplorers.com, and if you have any suggestions for your favorite apps, please do leave a comment below. And on that note, let's just jump into it. Built for Huawei mobile services platform, but available on Android too, Pedal Maps is a navigation app that offers real-time traffic and turn-by-turn -turn navigation. There are several settings that you can tweak, which includes toggling dark mode and adjusting various navigation settings. And I like that you can have Pedal Search show over other apps. This is handy if you are road tripping and want your music app to display alongside navigation. For those people who like to customize their navigation experience, you can choose your vehicle icon and toggle a weather reading at the bottom of the screen. Pedal Maps feature five layers, the default view, a 3D view, a traffic overlay, and a transit overlay, which sadly does not seem to work in South Africa. Interestingly, there's even a COVID-19 overlay that gives you stats which are visually represented on the map. Probably my favorite feature on Pedal Maps is the cycle navigation feature. Although technically not available yet, it does show you the route and time it takes to cycle somewhere. I often use this to check how long it'll take me to cycle somewhere. Very handy when I'm planning a long weekend cycle. You can download Pedal Maps using the links in the description below. Along with the new HMS, Huawei has also built a payment platform that will allow gamers to easily buy in-game items using their Huawei ID. The number of games that are enabled for this are slowly growing, but in this show we'll be taking a look at a few games that have been very popular on the app gallery. One of my unexpected favorites is Lords Mobile, an intense tower defense game that'll see you try various strategies to beat your enemy. With over 200 million players around the world across various platforms, Lords Mobile won a number of awards over the last few years and it's easy to see why fans like this game. There are a few game modes you can play, but by far the most adrenaline fueled are the player versus player battles. Your objective is to build a base or defend it and deploy your army to attack the hordes of enemies trying to destroy you. Players can join guilds and help each other with build time and research time and to earn additional rewards. There are over 47 characters to choose from. They are known as heroes and each one has a unique skill set with attributes you can upgrade over time. Although the game is free to play, there are loads of in-game items that you can purchase and unlock. And in later stages of the game, you will need to spend a few rand if you don't want to wait for the mandatory upgrade times to unlock items. I always warn players to be cautious with their in-game spend, and this game holds no exception. Lords Mobile is an insane amount of fun, and you can play it on your own or with a friend, no matter where they are. The graphics and audio effects are great and the game offers quick rounds for bursts of creative strategy when you need it. You can check out Lords Mobile using the link in the description below. If you're looking for a good value for money entry to mid-range device, then the Huawei Y7P is certainly worth checking out. This phone features a 6-inch display with a resolution of 720 by 1560 pixels. There's a pinhole selfie camera on the front left side of the phone with a fingerprint reader situated neatly on the back. The Huawei Y7P also features an impressive 48 megapixel rear camera while the selfie camera shoots images at 8 megapixels or 1080p video. As to be expected from most smartphones today, the Y7P will deliver about a day's worth of battery based on moderate usage. But if you play games or watch video, you'll need to recharge during the day. For photos and video, the Y7P will deliver great results for the average user who just wants to collect pictures of family and friends. One thing that stands out on the Y7P is the fact that it still features a 3.5mm audio jack, something that a lot of people would prefer. If you're looking for a smartphone that won't break the bank, then the Huawei Y7P is well worth checking out. Have a look at the Huawei store for more information about this model and the range of other devices that Huawei has on offer. Now, if you've not yet seen his channel, I urge you to head over to Twitch and check out Sam Plays. I've asked him to give us a lowdown on the Plex app, and this is what he had to say. We've been a longtime fan of the app Plex here at App Explorers. And just to break it down for you guys, just so that you understand, 
Lex is an app that allows you to run your own media service, which allows you to watch your own content on any device that you own anytime, anywhere. Lex is free to download on your mobile device or your PC, and setting it up is quite easy. All you need to do is set it up on a computer that's going to be always connected to the internet to serve your media files. Once your server is operational, you can assign it to your media folder where your photos, videos, and music are located. And Plex is clever enough to find album art and descriptions for your content so that you don't have to manually do it yourself. For about 80 bucks per month, also sign up for the Plex Premium Membership, which will allow you to download videos and audio files for offline viewing. Also, you'll be able to stream directly from your computer anywhere in the world. Plex also features some free-to-view content with a number of channels that you get to choose from. That's awesome, right? One of the best new additions to the Plex platform is Plex Arcade, which for 50 bucks a month allows you to play a dozen of Atari classics or even your own ROM games. I mean, that's a beautiful addition to a really solid platform. The benefits of having access to your own content anytime, any place is a really dope feature. To get Plex for yourself, just check out the description down below. That's it from me. And that's it for another episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you have a game or app to recommend, please do drop us an email at show at appexplorers.com or leave a comment below. We'll be back with another show soon, but until then, please do check out appexplorers.com for more app and game reviews. Until we see you again, happy apping. Thank <laughs> you.